There's always something going on with Airshow, isn't there? Let's do a date check. It's Thursday, the 25th of August. And if you now try and run Airshow, you're going to find that you have an untrusted developer error, which means that the certificate has been revoked once again. That basically means that this version of Airshow isn't going to work again. I do hope you saved all your screen recordings onto your camera roll from the application because you're not going to be able to get to them anymore. If you try and delete the application and go to savagepool.com and tap on the Get Airshow link, this is what's going to happen. That's damn well annoying, isn't it? So let's recap what happens and what you need to do next. First of all, the certificate has been revoked. There's nothing you can do about it. This is something that the developer needs to fix. When a certificate is revoked, it simply means that Apple don't want you using this application and the developer needs to go off and find a new certificate, which he will do. The problem is, how long does it take? Well, in past experience, and as you've probably seen, it usually takes two to seven days. So does that mean you have to wait until the certificate is re-signed? Well, not exactly. There are alternatives, as proven by my iPad, which currently has another two working versions of Airshoe on it. And just to prove it, let's open one of them up. How did I get this working version? Well, I downloaded it from the bills.io service to briefly summarize what it is. It's $9.99 per iOS device. It means you're getting the 32-bit version of Airshow, so it should work. Performance is stable, and most importantly for this specific problem, you never lose a certificate. It will always work on your device. And Bills.io is not just about Airshow, you get loads of other applications if you want them too. There's more on my dedicated video, so click on screen now if you want to know more about it. Your second option is to download a program called CD Impact onto a computer and then inject the Airshow IPA file directly into your iOS device. Sounds scary? Well, let me summarize. You do need a PC or a Mac with iTunes installed. You don't need to jailbreak your iOS device and you are getting the free 32-bit version where you shouldn't have a certificate issue because you actually sign your own certificate. However, you do need to repeat the process every seven days to keep it. And as a disclaimer, you do it at your own risk. Again, there's a link on screen now if you want to try and follow that process. If you're just sick and tired of Airshow continuously going down, you can try an alternative recorder such as BB Recorder. It's been fairly unstable for me, but others have reported it working perfectly. The way to get this is to download vShare for your PC and then copy the application onto your iOS device. Again, there's a link on screen now if you want to try that method. Going back to Airshow, I've checked the developer's Twitter feed and he's not even acknowledged that the certificate has been revoked again. So it could be a while before we get any news. But as always, I will keep you updated. So I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news once again, but as I've said, Airshow should be back soon as it always is, and there are alternatives to get it right now. If you do have any questions, pop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you love the video, then subscribe for more Airshow content. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. We'll get through this, man.